In this video, I'll be showing you a few different things that you can do within Windows to hopefully resolve the error code 0xc and then 605 when trying to play Elden Ring on your Windows computer. So there's many different reasons why you might be getting this error code. So unfortunately, you will have to go through each method that I say in this video until one of the methods hopefully resolve the issue. So the first thing that you need to do is just simply close down everything that is currently running on your computer and then launch Elden Ring just to see if any of those programs that you currently had open were conflicting with the game, causing you to get that error code. If that didn't resolve the issue, then that's not a problem because the next thing you want to do is to disable your security software for a short period of time just so you can test out the game to see if it is your security software that's causing the issue. So if you're using a third party security program, then you will need to figure out how you can disable that. Normally you can just do it within the system tray, right click on the security software's icon and go disable. Just remember you won't be protected from viruses while your security software is disabled. So do this obviously at your own risk. If you're just using the Windows security software, then you can do this by right clicking on the start menu icon and selecting settings, and then clicking on update and security, and then selecting Windows security. You now need to click on open Windows security, and you then need to click on virus and threat protection, and scroll down until you find manage settings. And you can now simply toggle real time protection to off, and then cloud delivered protection to off and also everything else. So once you've done that, go ahead and launch Elden Ring again and see if that helped. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing you're going to want to do is just unplug all the devices that you currently have plugged into your computer. So what I mean by that is if you have a headset, a microphone, a USB stick, anything like that plugged into the USB ports on your computer, unplug them all and then launch the game and see if that helped. Also, if you do have a spare mouse or keyboard kicking around, try and use that keyboard and mouse instead of the one that you're currently using, just in case there is an issue with your current keyboard and mouse. If that didn't work, then the next thing you're going to want to do is ensure that all the drivers on your computer are up to date. So what I mean by this is make sure you do have the latest driver installed for your graphics card, I will pop the links in the description below where you can grab the driver for your graphics card. If you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to device manager, and then expanding display adapters. And as you can see, I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super. So I'd need to go to the NVIDIA website and download a driver for a 1660 Super. You also then need to go through and just update drivers for everything else, like your keyboard and mouse and speakers and just basically any bit of hardware you have in your computer. This also includes if you feel confident enough to do this, update your BIOS as well. So once you've done all that, the next thing you're going to want to do is just ensure Windows is up to date also. So you can right click on the start menu icon, go to settings, go to update and security and then click on check for updates and just let Windows check to see if there are any new updates available and let Windows install them. As you can see, I do have a quality update available. If you have one of those available as well, I would recommend that you download and install that update. Once you've done all that, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then the next thing that you're going to want to do is open up Steam. Alrighty, once you have Steam open, you now need to select your library and you then need to find Elden Ring in your games list. Once you've found it, right click on the game and go to properties. And you now need to go down to local files and you now need to select verify integrity of game files. This is now just going to ensure that none of the game files have become corrupt or missing. And if Steam does detect an issue with one of those files, then it will attempt to repair the file. Once this has finished running, go ahead and launch Elden Ring again and see if that resolved the issue. If that didn't fix the problem, then the next thing that you're going to want to do is just completely close down Steam, 
And once you've done that, you now need to open up the start menu and you now need to type in memory and you need to select Windows Memory Diagnostic. You now need to click on restart now and check for problems. And this is going to check your memory, your RAM, to see if it can detect any issues as one of your memory sticks might have become faulty and this will definitely cause that error code that you'll receive it. So you now need to go ahead and just press restart. Obviously make sure you have saved all your work before doing this. I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. Okay, so once you're back in Windows, if the memory diagnostics didn't detect any issues with your RAM, then the next thing we want to do is disable programs and services from starting with Windows. And to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, and you then need to click on task manager. You now need to go across to starter and you now need to go through the list of the programs that boot up with your computer and disable as many as possible. The more you disable, the better. So as you can see here, I've got Microsoft Edge. It's actually currently disabled, but if it was enabled, then it would say enabled there. So I'd then be able to right click and go disable. Once you have gone through the list of the programs that start up with your computer and disabled them, the next thing you need to do is open up the start menu and type in msconfig. You now need to click on system configuration and you now need to go across to services and you need to tick hide all Microsoft services. You then need to go through this list and disable as many services as possible by simply unticking the checkbox next to the services. Obviously don't disable anything that you need if there is some security software or something in there. Once you have disabled all the services that you can, go ahead and press apply and then okay and restart your computer. Once you have restarted your PC, go ahead and launch Elden Ring again and see if that resolved the issue you've been facing with the Zero XC605 error. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing that we need to do is open up the start menu, and you now need to type in CMD, and you then need to right click on command prompt and go run as administrator. You now need to type in SFC space forward slash scan now, and then hit enter. And this is going to check if any of the Windows system files have become corrupt or missing. And if it does detect an issue, then it will attempt to repair those files. So allow this to run, and if it did detect any issues and repaired them, go ahead and launch Elden Ring, and hopefully that would have resolved the error for you. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is run a virus scan on your computer. So if you do have a third party security software installed on your computer, go ahead and use that software to run a fire scan. If you're using the Windows security software, then you can do this by right clicking on the start menu icon and going to settings, update and security, clicking on Windows security, and then clicking on open Windows security. Next, you need to go to virus and threat protection, and you're now going to want to go to scan options, and you want to do a full scan and press scan now. Once that's finished, go ahead and run a Microsoft Defender offline scan as well. Once the scans have finished, go ahead again and see if that resolved the issue with Elden Ring. If you're still facing problems with that error code, then the next thing that I would advise is to unplug some of your memory because the chances are it could be that one of your RAM sticks have become faulty. So if you feel confident enough and you know how, unplug all the memory in your computer, leaving just one bit of RAM, then boot up your computer, launch Elden Ring and see if you get the error. If you don't, then happy days, plug in another memory stick and then do the same thing again until you come across the error and then you will know which slot of RAM was faulty. Also, another thing that you can try if you have overclocked any of your hardware is to remove those overclock settings if you know how and feel confident, as one of these settings could be causing the error code as well. 
If none of that resolves the issue, then unfortunately the only other thing to do is to try resetting Windows as there's obviously something within Windows that's causing the issue. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click on that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.